It has been three years since I posted my most watched video. And as you know, over the last three years, a lot has changed. So today I'm going to walk you through why you should avoid moving to Idaho unless you can deal with these 10 facts updated for 2024. Let's go. Hello and welcome to another episode of Living Life in North Idaho. My name is Trent and on this channel, we talk about what it's like living, eating, working, playing and buying real estate here in Idaho. So if this is of interest to you, go ahead and tap the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. So every time I come out with a new video, you get notified. So the only right way to make this video is to reset everything back to the way it was almost three years ago. All right. Still have the shirt, but I do have a little bit more hair, so it's not exactly the same. Anyway, so today we're going to go through why you should avoid moving to Idaho, lest you can deal with these 10 facts. I'll go through each fact from the previous video, letting you know what's changed, how much it's changed, and what has not changed. And like I said in the previous video, I'm not saying these are negative, and I'm not saying these are positive. I've been here for 32 years and I've had my own experiences and I have my own opinions, but I'm not here to share those with you. Just here to share what it's like living here in Idaho so you can decide if these things are positive or negatives for you and if Idaho is the right place for you to live. So the first one is Idaho is a very red state. Yes, this is still very true, probably more true than it was three years ago. Idahoans are very into their country, they're very into their churches, and they're very into their guns. But I have noticed a significant difference in the conversations that I'm having with people and people that I'm meeting where it used to be, yes, Trump, Trump, Trump all the way. I think people are starting to cool down from that, starting to understand that you really need to step back and decide, is it really the two-party system? Is that really the best way to go forward? If you remember, both parties voted for us to go into wars that we should have never been in. They both have raised the debt ceiling over and over, and they both have been eroding constitutional rights and creating a lot of inflation. This is not good for anybody. It's not good for our country. So I am hopeful that people start looking at the problem and trying to think outside of the box for a better solution. Again, not saying this is negative, not saying this is positive. This is just something I'm starting to notice. The second fact that people should look at before moving to Idaho is our weather. And yes, our weather is still crazier than ever. Last winter, we had a really long winter. It snowed Halloween and that snow stuck around into March, April. We've not seen that in a long time. But then this year, we've not gotten a lot of snow. We've only had two or three snowstorms. It's been raining a lot. It's been very gray. The weather has been mostly warmer, except for a really bad cold snap that we had that got down to minus 16 in some areas. So yeah, the slogan here though is, if you don't like the weather, just wait 15 minutes. The weather is still a major factor. And if you wanna hear more about the weather, you can check out some of my other videos up here that goes into more detail about that. But it's definitely something that you wanna know before you get moved here, because not everybody can handle it. The third fact, we have a lot of wildlife up here. Yes, thank God that's still very, very true because Idaho would not be Idaho without our deer, without our moose, without our elk, without our predators, the bears, the mountain lions, all of it. They're still here, there's still a lot of them. In fact, there might even be more here now because of COVID, because there wasn't as much hunting going on. There weren't people coming from out of town to hunt here. So for me personally, I've been seeing a lot more elk herds and deer, which is really awesome. But something that I didn't mention in the previous video, Idaho has a really wild predator that is not super common. I've never seen one, but there are 400 that live in Idaho and it's the Wolverine. Now Wolverines have been known to kill deer and elk. They can climb up in trees, jump down on people. They are absolutely ravenous. They go crazy. And I, apparently they're very tough and very hard to kill. So yes, Idaho has a lot of wildlife and it's something that if you're not used to and you are kind of scared to run into a wild animal, maybe Idaho isn't the right place for you. Number four was tourism is definitely a thing here in Idaho. Yes, this is still true, probably more true than it was three years ago, 
because Idaho is no longer a secret. We get a lot of people that come here in the summers and in the winter. The good news is, is that they mostly flock to cities like Coeur d'Alene, up in Sandpoint, Idaho Falls, Boise, areas like that that have a little bit more bigger of a population and more attractions. So if you're living in a smaller town around those areas, you don't have to deal with it too much. And I will say a majority of the tourists that come, they're a good thing for Idaho. Idaho thrives on tourism. It has what has kept the towns alive. Every once in a while, you get some of those tourists that just have no respect for the area, no respect for the locals, and we just take them out and drown them. I'm kidding about that. Got to put up with them, but a lot of times there are people that will speak up. They will correct that behavior. Not everybody's comfortable with that, but I do believe it's what has kept Idaho a good place to visit and live. Now, the fifth fact why you might want to avoid moving to Idaho was the people. If you remember from my previous video, I talked about how the people are very nice. They're very community oriented. They look out for each other, but they really don't like people moving here from California or big cities. And it's better to change your license plate sooner rather than later. That's still kind of true, but it has calmed down quite a bit, I've noticed. I think people are starting to understand that things are happening in our country that are pretty unnerving. And the people moving here, they really do want the Idaho lifestyle. They want a safe, beautiful place to grow old or to raise their kids. And they just don't want to deal with the stuff going on from where they're from. Now, I will say the, the Californians, the city folk that show up with lots of money, lots of ego and arrogance, they are still very much so not welcomed. Just know in this video, if you're that kind of person that thinks that you're better than everybody else, might not be the place for you. Number six was we have allergies here in Idaho. Now, if you remember, I mentioned how bad the pollen gets. Yes, it still gets pretty bad every single year. It does fluctuate some years. It's worse than others, but if you are sensitive to things like pollen and fresh air, this might not be the best place for you. One change that I have noticed is it seems like after COVID, a lot more people became sensitive to allergens and they feel more sick. Even though they live very healthy lives, it seems like their immune systems have not quite recovered. So if you are struggling with that where you're living right now, definitely look more into this. You can always give us a call, give me and my team a call. We can answer any questions like that as to what you've got going on and whether Idaho is going to be a good fit. Also, what town might be the best fit for you. So you can always reach out to us day, nights, weekends at the number or email address listed below. There's also a website. You just want to check and see what is going on in our market, but we definitely prefer you call so we can answer all your questions and help get you set up. All right. On to number seven. Number seven was entertainment is definitely lacking here in Idaho. I wish this was not still the case, but it still very much so is. There have been some things that have come to town down in Boise. They do have a top golf up here in North Idaho. We have a zip line, uh, which technically, I mean, that's still outdoors, but we do have ax throwing. We do have uh, water parks and uh, there is a casino that's down south and over in Spokane, but yeah, still not a great place if you like a really great nightlife other than Boise. Boise does have a pretty good nightlife, but up here in North Idaho, down in uh, Twin Falls, Idaho Falls, places like that, it's not much of a nightlife, not a lot of stuff to do indoors, but tons of stuff to do outdoors. So. If you're okay with that, Idaho is a great fit, but if you're someone who wants to be doing stuff every single night, going to concerts and comedy clubs, just not a great fit. Again, Boise definitely has that stuff and we do help people get moved to Boise, so you can still reach out to us for that, but yeah, not really anywhere else. The eighth fact that would keep people from wanting to move here is our drivers. We had some really, really bad drivers up here. I remember sharing a story about an old lady who went down the freeway in the wrong way and got in a head-on collision. Yeah, those things still do happen, but luckily, I feel like people have adapted to the influx of people moving here. I've noticed that people are definitely now going more the speed limit, where before they would definitely could be going 55 in a 70 on the freeway, which really is not that safe. People didn't really understand the roundabouts but it has definitely gotten better that I've noticed. There are more cars on the road, 
but at least our drivers seem to have adapted to the influx and it does feel a lot more safe on them. Number nine was our education. If you remember three years ago, our education was almost near the bottom in the country. We have made some pretty big strides. We're actually only, I think, five or four less than Seattle now for our school system. And we still have the least amount invested into the school system. So to make those kind of leaps without making massive investments is pretty awesome. But at the end of the day, it's still public school. And you're definitely going to want to subsidize your kid's education with tutoring and after school programs. Now, what I didn't mention in the previous video is that Idaho is, I think, very close to number one, if not number one, for homeschooling support, as well as our laws being very supportive of people homeschooling their kids. I myself was homeschooled up until high school, and I know that my mom probably had higher aspirations for me, but you know, creating a YouTube channel and a real estate team, I'm not doing too shabby. So, and I think I attribute that to homeschooling because it did teach me to think outside of the box, to not adapt my thinking to everybody around me, but try to come up with the best solution. It definitely was harder when I was younger because getting a job, people just want you to fall in line. And I wasn't super great at that, but older, getting older and moving on in my life, it's definitely served me well. So for those people that understand our education system's not great, homeschooling is really awesome here in Idaho. And the last one is Idaho is fiercely independent. Now, unfortunately, this is no longer true. Idahoans have really subscribed to trusting the government and doing whatever they tell us. Obviously, that's not true. Idaho is even more fiercely independent than it was back in 2021 because we see that the government has been tested and right now it's failing. Again, I'm not saying this is my opinion. This is the opinion of Idahoans. Keep my opinions to myself. But yes, Idaho has become even more fiercely independent where they enacted legislation that has put constitutional carry into place, meaning that if you are an adult, you can carry a firearm and you do not need permission from the government or anybody else to do that to protect yourself. So big step in the opposite direction of what a lot of these cities are doing. And that's exactly the way Idahoans like it. So if you love that fiercely independent spirit, you're going to love Idaho. If you need government to tell you what to do and how to live, probably not the right place for you. So that is why you should avoid moving to Idaho unless you can deal with these 10 facts updated for 2024. Let me know in the comments which ones you found positive, which ones you found negative, or if you don't care about Idaho at all, which why would you watch this video? So thank you for watching. If you want to watch more, they should be right here. You can keep learning more about Idaho. And if you're serious about getting moved here, reach out to me and my team at the email address or phone number listed below text, calls, emails, it does not matter. And I will see you on the next video.